Hey students, this is Mr. Parker coming at you with a tutorial. So what we're going to learn today is how to change some settings for our camera and audio and how to add a virtual background, which will be useful uh, if maybe you got a messy background or you just want to be less distracting or if your teacher wants you to change that background to reflect something. So uh, here we go. We're going to start by going to the calendar and just joining the meeting we want to join. So this is that meeting. And then I'm going to click join right here. So I got to move my face out of the way. So what you'll see is the defaults all set up for you. You got uh, your microphone and your video may already be turned on. When I'm going to join a class, I'm going to normally put my microphone on mute. Sometimes I may even mute my video as I join to be that much more uh, non-disruptive. But this time I'm going to turn my camera on and then I'm going to want to put a virtual background. Maybe I think that this shelf is a little busy. I don't want to distract anybody. So click this little button right here. It will only work. Notice it grays out when your camera is not on. This button will only work if you've got the camera on, of course, because you're going to use your camera for these and then I can just click any of them. The first one is quite useful. It's just the blur. So that just takes your regular background and blurs it out. gives you a little cardboard cutout. These other options are preloaded. So I'm going to choose another nice nondescript, non-distracting one. Pretty chill. I like this one. Um, if I really wanted to, I could add new ones and that could be any old picture right there. Um, but really, we're going to aim for non-distracting, uh, neutral backgrounds for our class sessions. So I'm all ready to go, uh, and I can just hit Join Now. Um, if you're having any other issues with your microphone not working or your camera not working, maybe you're using desktop computer, you got a couple other inputs going on, uh, you can go to Custom Setup and then Change... This little cog here just gives you, these are the, it, it lists what I'm using and you can change what audio outputs you have, what inputs you're using and the camera. So I've got lots of things going on because I'm using my desktop here, but most laptops should be able to do this lickety split without you having to mess with anything. This is mostly for people who might have maybe a microphone plugged in that they want to use that's better or a webcam that's better than the uh, preloaded thing. So, yep, join our meeting and we are good to go. Thanks for watching this tutorial.